So the Prophet ﷺ said, yes, that is the dua, that is the supplication of the noon of Yunus salam, the Prophet Jonah. He said, that is the supplication that he said as he was in the belly of that whale, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-walimeen. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-walimeen. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-walimeen. There is no God but you. There is no God but you declaring the oneness of Allah. Subhanak, you are free from all imperfection. Inni kuntu min al-walimeen. And I was amongst the wrongdoers. Again, la ilaha illa ant. There is no God but you. Subhanak, how perfect are you? Free from all imperfections. And how imperfect am I? Inni kuntu min al-walimeen. I was from the wrongdoers. When he said that, the Prophet ﷺ said, and this is the most important part of the hadith after the dua. He said, Lam yad'u biha Muslim rabbahu fi shay'in qat. No Muslim will call upon his Lord with that prayer at, at all. Qat. Okay, so there is no exception to this. So if someone starts thinking, well, I'm not Yunus Islam, I'm not worthy of my dua being answered, I'm not. The Prophet ﷺ said, no believer will call upon Allah with that prayer, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is illa stajaba lahu, except that Allah will answer his prayers. No Muslim will call upon Allah with that prayer, except that Allah will answer his prayers. Think about that for a moment. Now we've talked about the different ways that Allah answers your prayers. But no Muslim will ever add into their prayer or call upon Allah with La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al except that Allah will remove all of their distress and answer their prayers. Now let's talk about this for a moment, inshallah ta'ala, because it's a very profound thing that the Prophet ﷺ is giving to us. Number one, again, don't sit there and think, well, perhaps I'm not worthy, all right? The Prophet ﷺ said, no Muslim will call upon Allah with that prayer. Also remember that when Allah tells us the story of Jonah, the story of Yunus salam, Allah says, وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And just like that, we also rescue the believers. So just like we rescue Yunus salam, we rescued the Prophet Jonah, كَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ That's how we rescue the believers as well. With their words, with that expression, with that sincerity. Yunus salam represents a person in the lowest of low, calling upon Allah, acknowledging His majesty and His glory with absolutely no imperfection. So Yunus alayhi salam is at his lowest point and he calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said, in the darkness of the night, in the darkness of the ocean, in the darkness of the belly of that whale, Yunus alayhi salam calls out from the bottom of the ocean, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al it's an extremely profound narration that the Prophet ﷺ is giving to us, and I want to talk about a few things with this du'a that are, that's usually not spoken about. Number one, Yunus Islam did not uh, ask Allah to be saved, but by his pure expression to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his pure thana, his pure praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah saved him anyway. Allah rescued him anyway. Yunus did not ask Allah to remove him from the belly of the whale. He did not ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save him in this life. He called upon Allah, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. And that's because the Prophet sallallahu said that whoever sticks to istighfar, whoever sticks to seeking forgiveness, Allah will take care of all of their affairs anyway. Okay, Allah will take care of all of their affairs anyway. And so he didn't even have to call upon Allah and ask Allah for the specific uh, saving and rescue that he was asked. It was just a complete comprehensive, Oh Allah, you are perfect, I am imperfect. You were always generous to me, and I am consistently deficient in my responsibility to you. Right? The acknowledgement, Abu, and, and you know, you think about Sayyidul Istighfar, the, the, the master of seeking forgiveness, the Prophet said, the chief of Istighfar, the chief of seeking forgiveness. Abu ulaka bi ni'matika alayya wa abu bi dhambi. Right? Admitting Allah's blessing upon you and admitting your shortcoming towards Him. Okay? La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al so no one is, is excluded from this because كَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلَمْ يَدْعُوا Muslim And no Muslim, no believer, no mu'min, no one calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, period, with this dua except that their dua is answered.